Hi there, this is going to be a short tutorial on how to use the Falling Leaves action set in Photoshop Elements. So Elements 11 through 13, you can run your actions through the action panel. Okay, so Falling Leaves, and then you just open it up so it comes up closed like that. Open it up by clicking on the triangle, and then you see your different actions. Photoshop Elements uh, 7 through 10 is going to be in your Photo Effects folder and there is a set in the drop down menu Falling Leaves. The only action that doesn't work perfectly well is the Merge Leaves one. Um, I was helping to retrofit it for Elements and it just doesn't want to play nice and but everything else works great. So how this works is that you have, you were given when you, in your download folder, or in your product folder, um, a lot of actual leaf images that have been cut out and saved for you as PNGs. And you add them to your image one at a time by using um, an action called Place Leaves. So we're just going to run it, and it's going to ask, it's going to prompt you to open up and go to your folder, or wherever you save your product folder, and then click on one of the leaves. And here we got a preview so I can kind of see what I want. So maybe that's what I want. I'll hit OK or hit place. And now I can, it comes in really large and I'll just reduce it down, turn it around a little bit or maybe upside down. So I can spin it around. I'm holding my mouse down still or my trackpad on. And you can squish it and make it, if it was tall and thin, you can make it short and fat. There's all different things you could do, so maybe I'll put it up here like this. Okay, so here are the, all the other ones I have added. You can see that. Now in the actions, you can do different things to it. You can add a drop shadow, a glow, you can blur some of them, and uh, you can do that individually. Okay, so we can just click on a layer and then go to slight blur and then blur it. It's going to tell us, you know. It, in elements it wants to simplify and that's okay so we'll hit okay and it blurs it slightly you can also if you have your move tool active then you can just click on any particular one that you want so maybe I want to blur this one a little bit more I'm going to do a medium blur I hit okay so you see how it blurred it now if you want to blur it so that it's just a, a, you know barely recognizable and it's just this very fuzzy like this one right here was blurred almost to the point where we just have the color. Uh, maybe I'll do this one and do a serious blur. Now see it's really blurry so I might just pull it back just a little bit. A little bit more. I'll say okay. The other thing you can do is if you only want a slight blur of all of them then you can merge them all and this action will tell us that we need to stop and go highlight all the layers that we want to merge. And now we can merge them. So now they're all one layer. If you come back over here, we can see they're all one layer. And now I can do like a slight blur of all of them. But you can just resize them, move them. The set also comes with some action sets like claret, let's see, before and after, and you can reduce the one group layer opacity. There's also an action to un to ungroup this, um, and then there's some workflow. So if an action creates some red cast, that'll help you fix it. Um, you can see a before and an after. So here's before and there's after. We can flatten the layers, we can reset to the original and do that. And then back up. There we go. There's lots of different things you can do in overall brightness and darkness. You gotta turn these on. So we can brighten it, we can darken it. But lots of good things. But you're going to need to place those leaves in and then you know, like add a drop shadow and blur it to make it look like it came, that, that um, it was there when the image was taken. You need to help it blend into the photo. 
can't just put them on there. But um, these are really a lot of fun, and they're beautiful, and there's so many, such a great variety. I really hope you enjoy using them, and I can't wait to see what kind of images everybody, what kind of enhancement everybody does to their images.